What is up, friends and fellow anti-netters? Now, most of you know me as the anti-net Zettel costume guy. However, my actual craft, the way I've been able to make a hell of a living, has revolved around the skills and art and occupation of copywriting. Copywriting, marketing, and writing in a way that moves people and inspires people to take action. Uh, several years ago, my claim to fame was that I was essentially the biggest performance marketer on the Google Display Network. And this requires a hell of a lot of copywriting skill. And during this time, it was just me living in a shack in the Virgin Islands, a beautiful shack overlooking Megan's Bay. And it was there that I ran an automated advertising agency with a Python bot, which I named after a Family Guy character, and his name was Stewie. And he would email me every single hour with uh, you know, how my campaigns were doing. Hey, Scott, here's how your campaign is doing. I increased the budget on this campaign. You know, warm regards and uh, you know, some funny Family Guy quote. Anyway, I taught myself the critical skills of copywriting and Python programming using note cards. And that's why I believe in the power of analog so much. And that's why it's led me to resurrect the art and magic of that uh, in the whole space of personal knowledge management in Zettelkasten. And although I love teaching the anti-net Zettelkasten, aka an analog way of using note cards to manage and develop uh, your thoughts from readings, uh, I also feel compelled and called to help people spend their days reading, writing, thinking, doing what they love while also making a hell of a living. And that brings me to Mike Guarneri. And Mike is an anti-netter who I took on as a private client a few months ago, in maybe six months ago. And our client engagement has since ended. However, I decided to reach out to Mike earlier this week, I think on Monday, and uh, essentially take him on and say, hey, I'm gonna help you actually uh, spruce up and change up the way that you write emails and that you do copywriting. And backing up, you know, when I first met Mike, this is like six months ago, he had re uh, recently quit his job, a job that he hated. He was working as an accountant for a greedy hedge fund manager um, and a greedy just asshole boss. And <laughs> he wanted to pursue his intellectual fascination um, all around the Celtic, Druid and pagan traditions, which is something, a, a niche, a market I knew nothing about. And at the time when I met him, he had zero online presence. And you know, that's the first hurdle. How do you actually have the confidence and courage to put yourself out there, put your writing out there, put your face out there and pursue something that you are fascinated with. And today, Mike has a small tribe and it's growing every single week. And I just shot this three hour uh, video session on Zoom with him. And what you'll see is me. I decided to not just give him advice, I decided to get my freaking hands dirty so that you can see how the sausage is made, how someone like myself with 15 years of copywriting, advertising, performance marketing, uh, actually does this stuff. So you can see me uh, the behind the scenes of how I edit emails, how I format them. And I was using ConvertKit, which is Mike's email platform of choice. And you'll also see me uh, set up a lead magnet, which is a which you'll find out what that is. It's essentially a, a free guide. And you'll also see me tweak his YouTube videos, uh, the description and the title and all of that uh, in order to maximize email signups. And again, this video was a spur of the moment thing. He did not pay me a penny to do this. I reached out because I love doing this type of stuff. And um, let's see what else I'm I'm doing it essentially because I love copywriting. I love the art of uh, writing and I love helping out people like Mike. And what you're gonna see is how the sausage is made. And the most important thing is, is if you like this format, it's a long video, it's like three hours. And if you like it, please be sure to leave a comment in the section below and uh, maybe I'll upload future ones uh, to YouTube. If, I, uh, if you guys get value from seeing how the art and science and practice of writing and creating a movement is done. Anyway, peace and love. Stay crispy. Scott Sheffer, over and out. All right, so we got Mike Guarneri here. I'm not going to do a introduction because uh, by the time you're seeing this, I've already done an introduction and 
um, hyped up this man and pumped up his ego <laughs> without him even knowing. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, we, we were just chatting. You and I haven't really done one of these in a few months. I've, I've missed it. October. We to, yeah, yeah, we used to do these every week and uh, you've grown a, a tremendous amount. And why I've like always loved working with you is because you just, you know, and it's how I work with people too. Just like, all right, I'm going to just do what he says, do what Scott says. And then, you know, if you, we look at the trajectory of your, your growth, you know, it's not like overnight success, but it's no, you know, solid, but surely. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the problem is, and here's my, this is why I've had you do this strategy shift um, away from, you know, just substat the substack grind every week is because I think most like independent intellectuals and online creators and writers are doing and slogging through that this slow growth trajectory which is important to find the voice but like what ends up happening is like you know like five years easily could go by and maybe you're at like a thousand or a few thousand you know at that point but at the same time it's just like that's just too long so what we what we want to do i think you found your voice and built a yeah the start of a following let's let's kick it into next gear and do a big strategy shift so um what i had you do is uh go the setup convert kit and go the email route and so i think the plan today the north star that i want to get you to is i want to get you to making you know six figures a year from your passion project from this fascination um from you know, uh, exploring the Celtic, pagan, Druid, rich history and culture, and see if we can figure out how to marry that with uh, you know adding value to other people's lives and then making a comfortable living doing so. Um, so yeah, that's the North Star and the plan. So, okay. um, and that I was interested. It's interesting because like there's like a the Venn diagram I was thinking of today and you know is essentially what everyone goes through like in your the left hand side of the circle of the venn diagram is all the the self interesting things that that are you know that fascinate you you know and then in the other side of the circle is the others the things that interest others and really commercially people pay really only for three things it's like health wealth and relationships they want to improve their health mental or physical you know they want to improve their wealth um, and they want to improve the relationships. So all we have to do is find in the middle connecting center of that Venn diagram is figure out how to connect that, you know, your interests and the fascination with Celtic druidry and culture with something that improves health, wealth, or relationships. And, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, um, anyway, let's, what I was thinking of is, Tell me where you're at with um, the email, and you haven't sent it yet, right? So it's in right. ConvertKit. It's in uh, yeah, it's in ConvertKit. Um, basically saved as a draft. Um, you know, normally without you being here, I would just uh, you know give it a once over. Uh, let my wife take a look at it. You know, make sure I don't have anything glaring wrong or objectionable to her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and then and then uh, send it out. Um, so it's yeah. all there saved. So Okay, cool. So we've got the we got uh, the draft in convert kit. Uh, right. We have that queued up. We also have the YouTube video that you published, you know, or at least shared with me privately. Right. And then also, I don't know if you saw it already, but I think yesterday I really I quickly went in and uh, uh, created a, a new landing page for the free guide that we're talking about. No, I didn't see it actually. Yeah. I didn't even notice. Yeah, I couldn't resist. So yeah. The thing that I love to do, like my craft is, uh, di you know, a copywriting, diving into stuff. And I just love, you know, just diving in, doing this stuff. And um, that's why what I want to, I want to, I want to get my hands dirty uh, with this instead of me just say, hey, change this or tweak this. So that's the plan. So I want to dive okay. in and uh, show you and do a lot of this myself to show you what, um, what I would do. And then you know, I want you to take mental notes and I'm going to give you maybe some uh, assignments and homework to carry out um, of things that will take, you know, a little bit more time that uh, won't be efficient for me to just try to do. Like, for instance, if, you know, I can't 
uh, design a uh, the cover of the ebook right now or something. You know, I'll be like, hey, right. uh, here's what we need to do. Here's how to do it efficiently, all that. All right, so let's dive in. Um, let me share my screen. And I'm going to share this guy. All right. So I'm logged into your account here. I'm going to move, move this up here, this down here. Okay. All right. So we are in your ConvertKit account. Right. Um, I'm going to head over to, and, and, you know, full disclaimer, I use uh, drip, but you know, it's like when you use one email client, you can use another. So I'm not like a absolute wizard at this yet. So it may take me a little bit of time to navigate myself around, but okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Already, already you've, you've done a hell of a job because you got me to laugh. <laughs> Look at this. This is the freaking uh, subject right here. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. I love it. All right. And it's funny. I, I wrote that right before I read your newsletter. <laughs> the really? Second one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, I about, did it already. About, about, you know, open with, uh, okay. So let's, here's the important things we want to do with this. Okay. So the, we have to visualize and picture ourselves as our, the email reader. Okay. One of the things that I've done lately and is important is because in uh on mobile phones and gmail your subject line is going to get cut off like right around here you see this like the my right around my right you know i'm cheating on my and um what we want to do and what i want to do is try to uh is try to uh condense this let me i know in drip they have the the preview um uh the ability to preview the but we might just have to send a test email here. I'm just gonna send this to myself and view it on my phone so that I can see right. Um I can see what appears on my phone. It's right based on yes. my stats, it's 50 50. 50% 50 are on desktop and 50% are on convert kit or uh, not convert, are on mobile. Um, right. Yeah. Substack had that where you could see what it would look like on the cell phone. Yeah. So here's an interesting thing. I I opened my um my email, my Gmail, and it got put into my promotions folder. And so I hmm. haven't, I, I'm the one strategy to, this is, this is something that you don't put it on your backlog list, but um, one of the things you want to do to avoid getting put in the promotions folder or updates folder. And I am, I think probably 50% of mine emails are, are the same way. And it's on my backlog list and I plan to do it soon. But the way to counter that is you give people instructions saying after they sign up to your email list, you want them to add your email as a contact, you know, in their email. Um, so add as a contact in Gmail, which you can create like a, a animated GIF or GIF, however the hell you say it, <laughs> to show people how to do it, drag and drop to contacts. Um, another way. And this is, I'm, I'm going to be like, because I like to go super deep and even psych, psychology on how do I, you know, make sure that people actually get my emails and I'm not lumped into the updates or promotions tab. The other thing you can do is um, have them incentivize them to set up a filter to say any email that comes in, mark as important and move to the primary, you know, top of my um email inbox and um there's a way to do that as well but anyway add it to your backlog list of um the confirmation page the person gets is to provide and give them instructions on how to add that add your email to their contacts list um all right i'm trying to find it now see like i can't even find it now okay i have to go to promotion step okay so on my screen, I don't know if you can see it. Well, it says, I'm cheating on my wife this Valentine's and then D, dot, dot, dot. That's actually, that's actually uh, not that bad because, but what we want to get is we want to get everything because. Okay. You so know, if we get rid of I'm. Yeah, exactly. Have my newsletters always gone to, from uh, the last few, always gone to your um, promotions? Hmm. 
Let me check. I don't think so. But... Maybe it was because you sent it as a test or something. Yeah. Let me see. Move. Let's see what label this got. Yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like I've seen maybe one or two uh, in the promotion tab in the past. Um, but I, I, I catch it because I'm like, oh yeah, that's, you know, Mike, and I always, you know, check out your emails. Anyways. Yeah. Cheating on my wife this Valentine's day or. Let's take it, get rid of this. Like, yeah. yeah. Let's, let me dive into the psychology of this cheating. On my <coughs> wife. Okay. Let's, and then let's move the exclamation point because all of the, you know, promotions, all the companies, all of like people marketing, everyone is always uses ex exclamation points, you know, okay. and we want to stand out. So got it. <laughs> we could even, uh, you know, do this <laughs> to even make it <laughs> even more vague, you know, that'll increase open rates even more. Um, yeah, I, I I think that's the killer. That's the the subject right there. Okay. Like, how can you not open that? <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, okay. So now let's go through this. First things first, I love this graphic, but I don't think we should put this at the top of the, the email. And the reason why is because I want the person opening it and reading it not to feel like the... 1000 other emails that they ignore, which is like an email newsletter. I okay. want them to feel like this is you freaking Mike Coronary, you know, writing to them and telling us the reader, like me, the reader speaking to my soul and tell me about like, what's really going on, you know, in your life, what's actually going to be what you're actually going to, you know, I want them to engage with your words. So okay, what we're going to do. So yeah with drip i don't know how this this works um i want to click on it move this yeah and I'll, i'm gonna we'll, we'll put it at the bottom um okay we're, we're gonna remove all this stuff okay so we're just gonna go straight into the dear friends um all right another thing we're gonna do Oops. okay well i did that i'm gonna do we're instead of dear friends we're gonna do dear friend and gotcha so it's right, um, right directly to them not not to a whole bunch of people yeah you're writing this to one person's soul and gotcha. the other thing to do is this is what else uh, also i want to want you to do is watch this this is gangster so we're gonna do dear friend and i think they do liquid tags which means the problem is a lot of people that don't have the first names or any names exactly i'm gonna show you what to do um, I think that it's, uh, I got to look up the convention real quick on um, the, uh, I know what drips is with convert kit. I think it's the same. Um, let me just search convert kit. It's called liquid tags default. So we want a default text. Default. Yeah, here we go. Watch this. Okay. I don't know if you can still see my screen. Yep. Okay, we're gonna go right here. doesn't look right right yeah we'll do this in a second so this is what we'll do so what this does is it says dear subscriber dot first name or that's what the little type means it means mm -hmm. or default text which is friend they added this little trinket we don't need to do this which says truncate words which means grab the first character 
you know, in this string of text and then capitalize that. But instead, what we can do is just do friend. I like to capitalize friend. I don't know why. It just, I think it looks better um, if it's capitalized. But what do you think? What do you, I, I'm, I'm fine with either one on that. If you like, yeah, I mean, like grammatically, it should be lowercase, but almost you're saying friend as like um, the name of the person. So I think yep. it's fine to capitalize it. Yeah, exactly. So cool. Now we've already improved it. So now it's going to be like, dear Scott, you know, if Scott's there, otherwise it's just going to say dear friend. That's what I, that's, okay. that's how all my emails go. Okay. Let's lowercase the, or uh, unbolt this. And another thing that I've started doing lately, I don't know if you noticed, but I like to write in write an actual use paragraphs, but for email, it just, it's just better. People don't really read online. They don't read on the screen, they scan. And, um, you know, after they're done scanning, they may go back and read closely. And the way to effectively get people to consume your emails is just to have limit your paragraphs, you know, to one to two sentences. So I've started mm -hmm. doing this more and more. Um, like a year ago, I was like, like resisting. I was like, God damn, I don't care if you don't read it. If if you don't read this big, massive, you know, 3000 word email with paragraphs, then I'm not for you. And, you know, it's like that worked. That was okay for a while, but it, it only resulted in a small number of people actually reading, you know? Yeah. Um, so I've changed my tune and I, the stuff when I want to actually write my real paragraphs, hard hitting stuff, you know? Like I save that for my physical monthly newsletter. So, you know, that's what you can do as well. Save your, I think I have pretty much, I don't think any paragraph is more than like three lines. Yeah. Most or two. Yeah. And you've also gotten way better at that too. I think the, um, you know, how you wrote the Substack articles were way denser. Right. Yeah. Um, and these are, this is really good. Okay. So yes, we read that correctly. Okay. <laughs> this is awesome. I wanted to make it, I, I couldn't figure out how to do it, but to make it like the answer to any guesses who my date is to be like, like hidden. And then they could hit the thing to expand it, to see who it is. But I couldn't figure out how to do it. This right here. No, the, um, lower the bold. Okay. Any guesses who my date is? I wanted to make not have the answer right there. I wanted to make it like hidden and let them hit something to reveal it. But I couldn't figure out how to do it. Oh yeah. No, I think this is fine. You can do something here, like any guess who my date is. Nope. I'm waiting, you know, something like that. But mm -hmm. I, I think the, uh, I think this is fine. Any guesses who my date is? Okay. Fine. Let's tell you. <laughs> okay, so. One of the things I like to do just because it's old school and mm -hmm. Gary Halbert used to do this is, you know, he, he made his big call outs like centered, you know, um, I don't know if, oh yeah, here we can do it in drip. Um, I also like to do, there's this thing called title case converter. I, I've, I use this site all the time and you just title case converter.com. It formats your, um, any string of text into the proper title case, like Chicago style APA. I always do Chicago style. So um, I do that and then I'll grab, grab it and do title case. All right. And then, oops. And then I'll paste that right here because people, people 
you know, they are always going to be scanning. This thing will actually, you know, stop them in their tracks so right. that what they'll have to do is then once they realize it, we can do this too. So call this out even more if we do that. What is the steroids and color dye? Can we delete one of these? Um, I guess you can. But what, what what is it uh referring to? Like it's what referring is to one, two, three, four, five, five lines up. My data is extremely slender, very sharp, colorful, and controlling. Oh yeah. No, no, but like what is this actual needle full of it's oh okay. Well, I guess I have to get to the big reveal. Yeah. The reason I ask is because I'd like to cut down on the number of things. Like I'd like it to either be that. You see how much easier that is to read than yeah. Than, I think it's okay. I think I, I mentioned the color dye later on, so I think you could, you're okay. Just uh, leave doing a needle full of steroids. Cool. That's even better. Yeah. <laughs> this is epic. Okay. We do this because these are kind of like little grabbers for people's mm -hmm. eyes. You know, that's why I do mm -hmm. that. Um, because people are scanning, then they'll see that and they'll be like, wait, then they'll go and read this entire paragraph. Okay. Back in December, I was diagnosed with this box. some commercial holiday you know so that's like yeah because we're kind of like writing that small things Just kind of try to simplify some of this stuff, you know? Yep. We'll save this till the end. We want to just keep people flowing. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to paste that up here. The only reason so I, I had that it. there was because I just mentioned anxiety and depression. I said, <laughs> yeah, but that's fine. We'll, we'll get that. We'll get it back there in a second. Mm-hmm. They have to delete that that first yeah. line. <laughs> this is great.
I would go back, you know, through this entire thing and just kind of do what I did, try to simplify it, you know? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's pretty good. It's, you know, pretty simplified, but there's probably a few more tweaks that can be done. Okay. You know? Um, yeah. Perhaps one. I also like to cut out the ETCs, you know? Okay. Uh, perhaps one can learn something about the relationships. It's relationships and personality and get rid of desires, common ETC, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Okay. I get the so, idea. Using some of this. You can just do two to reflect upon, get rid yeah. of meditate and draw yeah. out. Using symbols and card images to draw out, to reflect upon both conscious and yep. unconscious. Yeah, exactly. See, it's, it reads so much better because people are still trying to like also decipher what you're trying to say too, like right. whether you think it's good or bad, you know, so that they can like, you know, um, yeah. And this, I definitely see value in this using, using symbols. See, we can cut out those small words using symbols and card images to reflect upon both conscious and unconscious thoughts could be very powerful. And then we'll just draw that out. Very powerful. Perhaps one can learn something about the relationships, personality. One can learn how about one can learn something about themselves that can have a positive impact. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I have a fear of leaving out. I can see someone coming back. Well, you didn't say this and this and this. You know, that's why I get so uh You want to kind of be all encompassing kind of thing. Yeah, that way no one could yeah. come back, but that's just my personality. I think they'll kind of get that and do that for themselves, you know. Yeah. Um one can learn. So this is kind of like unclear. I'm still like, what is a divination method? I guess I kind of, I guess that's a, a tarot card or tarot cards fall into that category. Yeah. I mean, um, I explain that more in the video. I go through it. Okay. Yeah. Once I'm trying to keep this uh, like very topical. Yeah. So. I always have to put the link in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. So we're also going to, we're just, I think I talked about this. I talked about this in, you know, Scott Shepard letter issue number two of just only having one call to action, um, you know, in each email. So we're even going to delete all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. See how we're just simplifying this. Um, but that should be a PS. Um, oh, this stuff down here. No, we have highlighted. Yeah, we could do that. You said it was a call to action, so I thought maybe it's putting on as a PS. Well, our call to action is going to be this YouTube video. So, oh, I thought the call to action was the um thing up top that we centered and capitalized and. Oh, this but, thing? Yeah. No, no, no. no okay. That's the call to action is what we want them 
people to get to actually do, do. that'll be okay. taking gotcha. action gotcha. so what we want them to do is click the link to the youtube video and then watch it you know so that'll be our cta call to action gotcha so all of this okay so yeah we'll do that in a second Yeah. Okay, my name is Mike, and I just got to this. This has over from Substack that we had forever. Yeah. So how 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 uh, how well do you think your your readers know you? Do you think this would be good to kind of remind um, your people? Um, I don't think it's as important now because I liked having it before on Substack because people were just wandering around Substack and would find me. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's not as much, so there's really no way to like just to search through and look and read newsletters on ConvertKit. So, yeah, I think this would be good to have. Like, um, we'll we'll put this down low below. Um, do we? How do you feel about me removing this thing as well? This I guess me on we can. Yeah, because we're gonna we're gonna make way more money than you know this stuff. No one's. I mean, have you gotten anyone to actually uh, nope. do it? Not one. I haven't yep. got anyone to do anything. <laughs> it's just human nature, man. Like I tell you, like even the most the most freaking badass and helpful GitHub libraries, you know, and like code and all that stuff that just says, "Hey, you know, like buy me a coffee or donate." Like they they don't get anything. Like I'll tell you a story real quick. Is I was using this open source software called Cyberduck back in two thousand. 12 to 2015 and I used it for one reason is because um, for all my advertising and websites I needed to they're all stored on Amazon S3 and CloudFront and uh, in CloudFront at the time I didn't have an automated way to uh, like uh, invalidate the CDN which means like propagate make your website you know actually go live it right so I had to like use this um what is it called? I think Amazon's portal or something. It was a pain in the butt, but I found this software, open source software called Cyberduck that allowed me to just do it in one click. And during this time, you know, mind you, this was during my performance advertising uh, heyday where I was like, you know, my heyday, I, I was doing hundreds of thousands of dollars in profit per month, like, you know, gross profit myself, you know, so I've had been making a ton of money and this piece of open source software was my like a key to being able to actually generate this amount of money and i had paid nothing for this open source software cyberduck and right. i'm like in like at the end of the year you know like i think i you know i should have it wasn't like a critical piece but i'm like okay he has like a donate to me which probably no one used so i finally i'm like okay well you know what i'll give you like I think I, I only donated like 20 bucks or a hundred bucks <laughs> to this thing. And I'm like, meanwhile, like he's, you know, have, you know, I would have easily paid and happily paid, you know, like nine bucks, even like, you know, 20 bucks a month for this tool yet. Like, you know, I don't know, like the, the whole donate model, it just, it doesn't really into human nature and i'm not the only one i think 99.99999 percent of people you know are just you know they don't so it's like you might as well just not even have it like okay don't distract people like you're gonna give them way more value way be way happier with like the business model monetization that you roll out you know which i won't get into yet but yeah that's what i'll say um all right anyway um now that i've declared to everyone that watched that part that I'm a, a I thought you were deleting kid. that stuff. <laughs> I thought uh, you were deleting the end. Yeah, yeah. Well uh we will in a second. I'm gonna okay. I might I'm going to because people are the audience is still you have to hammer it into their head like, you know, 15 times of who you are and what you stand for. And I think you've done a hell of a job. Like we worked through creating your origin story. So I think it's important for them to see it. We'll put it like under after you sign like we'll do this we'll do um see this i think this is your image right okay mm -hmm. gonna make this smaller let's 
see if we can left align that. Oh, it got so dark. Unless it's just the uh, the zoom. This oh uh, really? The image like seems right really here? dark. Yeah. It might just it might just be over zoom. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. This is this the Let's see if they have a replace image. I'm gonna add a new image here. Oops. God damn it, zoom. Damn it, convert kit. These are the ones that you uploaded. Do these still look dark? Yeah, I don't know why. Hmm, weird. No, it's gonna be some wall. It's really not gonna matter, to be honest. Yeah, you can check it after. Uh, yeah. See if it still shows up as dark. Yep. Um. All right. So. Then what we'll do is this. I know they're not because those are the ones from the photographer. Yeah. Why is recovering time? That's good. Yes. 
So what we're doing here is Mike is a recovering accountant making his way through the world of Druid. Is it Dru Druidry? Druid Druidry. The Celts Celtic. and Pagan. The, the Celts would be. Okay. Celtic and Pagan traditions. Yeah. That it would be Druid, not Druidry. Yeah. Perfect. Mike is a recovering accountant making his way through the world of Druid, Celtic, and Pagan traditions. His goal is to uncover actual, truly valuable Celtic Druidry. It's a typo. Let me turn on my Grammarly for this. It doesn't work. That's weird. It doesn't work in here. Yeah, that is weird. They haven't built it out yet. Truly valuable Celtic druidry and pagan practices that upgrade your mind and life. And here's the key. Without any of the BS you find everywhere else. All right, cool. That is you. And your mind and life, I think, is the good one. Um, so... We'll get to that back to that in a second, but okay. My contents makes we're gonna delete all this. Yeah, that's my problem. And I think I've been between like a 55 and 60% open rate on my subscribers, but hardly any of them go to the YouTube video. Yeah, they didn't get people to come that. to the YouTube video and very few of them or none of them really, you know, then go go sign up for the join link. They just watch it and leave. Yeah, we'll 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 fix that in a second. The first the first reason is uh we'll look at there's a lot there to unpack. There's open rate and then there's um there is you know click through rate getting them to actually click through right. and to watch the youtube video and i think right. we've we're starting to solve probably 96% of we've probably solved 96% of that like we've we have we are going to get yeah you know, like there's this way to there is right now i i'm tempted to even remove this uh but i think that might hmm. This might be good to just have. It's like we want them to do one thing and one thing only. We should, you know, though the, these are kind of good for, um, if we even remove that, I could potentially remove this. Yeah, I mean, like, how do you feel about just removing this? Uh, this the social these social icons. That's fine. Yeah, I don't think it'll. It's not like no, the biggest. Has no impact biggest, on anything. Yeah, and it's just we it'll simplify. Okay, how do we remove this shit? Oops. Okay, delete this icon collection. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Cool. Now it's even simpler. I want to remove this line too. Let's hit delete. Cool. Okay. All right, convert kit. You're you're okay. It's still weird that they have freaking lines under even paragraphs, but whatever. Well, they don't show up. Yeah. Okay. I'm still I'm still you know one of the few that still loves uh, drip and hasn't gone. Never to heard of drip. Kit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's funky and has its quirks as well, but uh, but you know. It's like once you get one of these platforms and locked in, it's like really you don't need to switch. Even the cool kid of the month seem is convert kit right now. But so you're you're on the cool kid of the month. But tomorrow there will be a new cool kid of the month uh in the uh in this space. Okay, so how do we center? Okay, I want to center that. I think we should center this as well. Is um you have the built with convert kit because it's like whatever paid plan you're on. I think you can one. delete it. Okay. I thought you could. 
It's not on. Yeah, cool. It was off. Cool. All right. Cool. All right. Cool. Now we have that. If you do, please let me know by leaving a comment. We want to get some comments and feedback, you know. Okay. Move that underlined. We're here to serve. Boom. I think we just leave it at that. That's awesome. I'll gain respect. I love this. So we'll do it like that. You see what I did there? Yep. Reads a lot better because it's like, that's all. That kind of closes out everything. And we'll add the link here and clean this up in a sec second. That's all. I'm here to serve with a skeptical mind and analytical eye, Mike Guarneri. Quote, the, you know, that's your signature. May the rose rise to meet you. We'll make this one smaller. We're going to make this smaller because this is kind of, oops. I think... How drip does that is, what is this one? Okay, that's an H3. So we'll make this one an H2. Then we will also, what font did you use? Um, Charter. Okay, cool. That, damn it, they, they, they we want that green. Um, yeah. Uh, make this one black. Cool. Right. This is looking badass now. What we'll also do. We can make this a regular paragraph, you know? Mm -hmm. cool. That's awesome, you know? It's really funny. Okay. This is looking really good. Oops, it didn't save. I just changed the, uh, do you see that? Yeah, yeah, you had it just uh, cheating on my wife. I know. That was weird. Okay. <laughs> so funny. I figured, you know, do something shocking in the beginning, like you said, and then yep. have it lead into Valentine's Day and then have it lead into the divination type of things like Oum. Yeah, this is great. It'll be nice to walk again <laughs> without a cane. Yeah. Is that what you're you're doing right now lately? Damn. Yeah, I have to. Yeah, that'll be, that's a game changer. It's just, life is hard as it is. And when you have all this health crap piled on yeah. top of it, that's the worst. And I think this is the challenge. <laughs> well, hopefully, what about, have you gotten a badass cane? No, I I, I didn't bother because hoping I wouldn't need it long term. Yeah, well. I was know. looking at Celtic canes. I know, that's what I'm thinking. You know, then then you've got, an excuse to have a weapon with you at all times. What I'm thinking of is the Mandalorian or not Mandalorian, but the book of Boba Fett, when he has that badass 
Kane from the uh, the Sandmen. <laughs> Man, but yeah, that's. Oh, do you do uh, do you do two spaces? After? I usually do two. Cool. Yeah, I'm from the old my, world. <laughs> my 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 dad is uh, from that world as well. I've always done just one. Um, I learned but... to type on a typewriter. Believe it or not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think stick with two. You know, it's uh. Okay, first try medication. Their bright yellow pills. Okay, so let's maybe do this. This is for this. We'll go back for the scanners. This was torture. AKA. We also don't want to just do that PT because some people just start right there. You know, gotcha. I think the way physical therapy works is that they might they make other parts of your body hurt so that you have, you are distracted from the original pain. Do that, you know, this is called what is this called in copywriting? It's called eye relief, and uh, you know, kind of create these little trinkets to for the scanners on February mm, 14th. Didn't know that was the first available time slot for the injection. I just search, I like delete, you know, it is very common. Mm -hmm. It is common for people because it has the same impact. It's easier. It's more concise. So this is the part where people might get confused. I mean, I'm not in your audience, so maybe your audience, your people, they may already know what a divination method is, you know? Like, uh, you know, do, so I'm inclined to make this a little bit clearer. Do you do you know, like, what percentage of your subscribers already know what the term and are familiar with the term divination method? I, I have no idea. I mean, I've defined it in um, past Substack newsletter, one okay. or two of them. So I'm not sure. And I, I go over it in the video. Um, yeah. I thought this to be odd and hoped it was being done only for fun. So um, it's a different way of saying divination. Uh, oh, no, no, no. We're, we're going to just define it. That's what I'm, what I'm getting at. So when I was in college, I noticed many girls uh, reading tarot cards. We'll put in quotes just to like, have people's eyes go towards it mm -hmm. bring tarot cards for guidance about their future prospects um how about rom future romantic prospects yeah because we're talking about like valentine's day yeah um that was important tarot cards are as divination methods. I don't know if it's really a subcategory. It's just a type uh, of divination. Type. Yeah. Yeah. 
type of something known as divination methods. Divination methods defined are um, what would you what would you say like are or is an object or practice? How would you define this? Uh, divination is uh, using some sort of medium to um, foretell or predict the future or to learn unknown information. I could always clean that up because I have the definition I used in the uh, YouTube video. Yeah. I, mean, I actually went into the etymology of the word in the YouTube yeah. video. I love it. Okay. No, that's not right. It's just to learn unknown information. There's not to be about the future. Yeah. Yeah. To foretell information about the future or about the unknown. Is the practice of using some medium to foretell unknown information? No, no, it's 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 to foretell on it's to foretell the future or on some unknown information. Some unknown piece of information. Yeah. Or or because okay. like I, I think it's total bunk for uh, tarot cards to be used to tell the future. Yeah. But I exactly. think it helps you learn information about yourself that might be in your subconscious or you know, you might not realize about yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, divination methods. You said I can clean that line up when I pull up the uh, definition I used. Yeah. From uh, Merriman Webster. Cool. Let's say, where could, are we? Uh, yeah. We're recording this, right? Where's the. It's, uh, it told me it was when you started cool. it. They right, popped cool. up saying. I just have a low, I've uh for some reason just crappy memory today. If you look down uh, the bottom, is it does it say pause or stop? Yeah, it says stop share, and then there's also the uh I see the green or the uh blinking red record button. Well, you're probably so fine I, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're good. The scary part is when you end the meeting and it goes to uh, <laughs> to process the video and you're praying that it processes okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's weird. Okay, whatever. All right, we'll just keep rolling. I know we we started the record. All right. Um, divination methods defined is the practice of using some medium to foretell the future or some unknown piece of information. Okay, cool. Um, I think we should move that ahead thought line back higher up. Um, because it's talking about the yeah, yeah. it's talking about the girls in college. This one right here, right? Yeah, there you go. Yes. However, I've come to learn that divination methods are more complex. Does that still fit? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. then just for, yeah. Then, then for just reading the future, right? Mm -hmm. They can be great tools for getting to better understand oneself. I definitely see the value in this. Using symbols in card images to reflect upon both conscious and unconscious thoughts can be very powerful. One can learn something about themselves that can have a positive impact on their current and future relationships. I mentioned symbols on tarot cards a few times already. Uh, in fact, there are a number of divination methods that rely purely on symbols. Uh, there are no other visible images other than the symbol. I don't really understand what that means. Basically, it's just it's just a symbol. It's not an image. Like a tarot card has a picture of the hangman, like an oh, actual yeah. graphic. Yeah, they're like oem and and ruins is just a literally a symbol. There's yeah, no picture okay. of anything. Yeah, so I might just remove that. Just don't want to confuse people. Okay. Keep it gotcha. simple. Okay. One such system is Ogham. How do you pronounce that again? I think it, o modern o Irish oem, old o Irish agam. Um, okay. I would put the in there though. Is the Agam. Is. You could put it, yeah, you could put it before the quotes. 
Yeah. There you go. my personal oh i'm set i may even um now what we've done so far mm -hmm. is we've told people the what we have not told people the most important thing you know is so we, in other words, we've told them the what, the what it is. We've told them the features of, uh, you know, Oga, uh, Ogham. Let's just call it Ogham. Or, mm -hmm. What is it called? Oam? Oam? I call okay. it Oam, but it, okay. you can Ogham is fine. Okay. We've, we've told pe people the features of Oam. We've told what it is. It's, you know, essentially it is, you know, a divination method that revolves around symbols. And it comes from, uh, you know, ancient Celts, right? Um we don't know okay so we've told them the features of what this is what we have not told them is the benefits and everyone the only thing they care about is they everyone's tuned in to wiifm what's in it for me what's in it for me radio you know so people before they even watch the youtube video they want to have a compelling reason what's in it for me to actually even click and spend some time um learning about oem you know mm -hmm. so what are some of the benefits of oem well for, for the reason why i'm looking at it is to um use it to learn about myself conscious and subconscious mm -hmm. to um you know hopefully relieve some anxiety and depression yeah better yeah. understanding yourself leads to peace of mind yeah yeah you could argue yeah okay so let's lay these out so um, I recorded it for you in this YouTube video. I show my personal. I even give you. Understand. Is it a practice? Practice of OM? No, it's a uh, it's a, it's a writing system. Actually, believe it or not. Okay. I did. I didn't watch the entire YouTube video. Yeah, though. I watched through some of it, so I've seen it. It's really freaking cool, which is awesome. We'll get into that in a second. Here's why it's important to understand the system of OM. Um, just brainstorming right here so we're going to clean this yeah up. Um, but i in the video I, I say a few times that i'm just learning and i hope that they'll be useful i'm testing it yeah so i don't want to say anything definitive here yeah so yeah wouldn't be really true yeah so here's why it's important to understand the system of OM. um i'm just going to write freely and we'll clean this up okay my opinion mm-hmm Nah, I don't think that's true, but okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, here's why it's important to understand the system. I, let me, let me, another way of saying it is, um, here's why it's important to understand the system of OM. OM.
probably almost 2000, I guess, two years old, 2000 yeah. years old. I'm going to cut that because that's just a feature. It's not really a benefit, you know, mm -hmm. at this point is by doing this, you'll be able to. How about by practicing, practicing that with the OM. We'll, we'll hedge this a lot. So we want the most important thing is authenticity and truth, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like practicing. I mean, I don't know if this would be getting more confusing. I just use the word practicing, but in reality, it's by developing a relationship with the OM. I don't mm -hmm. know if that would be confusing. Well, well, we'll get, those are smaller details. We'll get okay. to that in a second. By practicing the OM, you'll be able to gain new insights about your mind and life and in turn to naturally Naturally believe. So that's one benefit. That's like the core benefit. There's that. That's one benefit. Which that's we'll what I'm thinking. To. I mean, naturally, again, I don't. I don't know if that's really the case. I'm testing. Yeah, it. which we'll get back to that in a second. Yeah. Uh, there's naturally relieve, you know, uh, symptoms of depression, and anxiety. Other than like, also, not only does it have, you know potential to relieve it also can even if a person isn't suffering from depression or anxiety it can greatly upgrade their mind in life is that true i would think so yeah yeah quality of life quality of mind which really essentially means quality of life too which quality, quality of, of well-being yeah What other benefits? It's just enjoyable, right? Entertainment, perhaps. Yeah, I mean, I I, I say, that, I mean, one of the big aspects of it that's actually part of my OM's cl OM class right now. It's journeying, which as of right now, I kind of think is you know not real, but it's entertaining. Journeying? What does that mean? Like that's. It's it's a uh, type of meditation, a guided meditation. Okay. Where you're supposed to like cross into the Irish other world Interesting. meet characters and creatures along the way who give you great insights and whatever yeah. else. I mean, I, kind of like I a did a couple of them, practice. But yeah. It's like taking you essentially out, out of, out of this world we're constantly plugged into. Okay. Anyway, I think we've got enough. Any other benefits that you can think of? Not off the top of my head. I mean, it's mainly, it's a writing system. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that's why it was first invented to, to um, represent the, uh, um, the, the Irish language, the uh, original Irish, the primitive Irish. Okay, one such so how many like two thousand years? Yeah, I think it was like between uh, like 300 and 500 current era. So that's about 2,000 years. Yeah. Two. 
300. Oh, yeah, the fourth century, however you want to put it. Yeah, 300 is it CE. We should say it, it's known to date back until at least 300 CE. It might have been earlier. The only thing we can prove is that it's definitely, it definitely was around then. Yeah. Okay. That's duplicative. Yeah, but I don't know if that's true. <laughs> yeah, that could yield. Yeah. Okay. I believe it is true, but, you know, got to do the work. Do we have to include the meditation practice aspect of it? Uh, th that's what the biggest thing of it. Okay. That's part of it. That's, that's really biggest... part of the divination. Okay. Logan has been shown to be a fantastic. Fantastic. System in two more areas. One. As a divination method for uncovering or for learning uh, yeah unknowns about yourself or yeah as yeah, a divination method for gaining an understanding of unknowns about yourself And as a meditation practice that could yield positive effects on your mind. For your mind. See, we're always positioning it as for the person, for the benefit right. of, you know. Mm -hmm.
Um, but even number one, I'm like for gaining. I mean, I think it's for gaining, but I'm not certain. You know, I, I don't want to, I wouldn't stake my life on it at this point. As a divination method for uncovering. It, it has it has been shown for others, right? Yeah. For Supposedly, you know. Yeah. yeah. For uncovering un, an understanding of unknowns about it yourself. And It's kind of funny if we do that, you know, whether or not these two claims mm -hmm. are bullshit or something your, your, your fellow skeptic. Oops, let's do something funny. People love this surf. Uh, for a while, I was calling myself the keeper of the beard of wisdom <laughs> because I was making fun of the um, the Irish mythology uh, salmon of knowledge. The keeper of the beard, yeah, of wisdom, of wisdom <laughs> is still. So we do this, make it funny. You know, it's like we don't want to bullshit people. It's like if right. it's still, if it's still in progress of. You know, disclaimer, whether or not these two claims are bullshit are something your fellow skeptic guide, Sir Mike of, we can do, uh, Mike of Gorneri, the keeper of the beard of wisdom, you know, we'll put this in quotes. still attempting to determine okay like that okay it's oh, it's pretty good it's anyway funny. we'll do anyway last year i wrote about the ogum the, the own but now it's time to show you i have recorded a youtube video i recorded a youtube video about it in this YouTube video, I show you my personal ohm set. I even give you a sneak peek of something else similar to the ohm. Here's why it's important to understand this. We already kind of explained the benefits yeah. a little bit, you know? Mm -hmm. Here's why it's important to understand. Okay. To explore. It's the practice of own of the own. 
Yeah, I don't think we'd say practice. What's the rest of the sentence? Okay. Um, we're gonna cut this down, you know, too. Mm -hmm. the, yeah, uh, but the uh, so potential. It's a potential tool to add to Ron's kit. Naturally is wrong. Oh yeah, there you go. Thank you. Okay. What did I do? Without Grammarly, probably put this in. Uh, I could put this in um, Grammarly real quick before we, uh, you know. Yeah. I do the same thing. Yeah. Does it format it properly? Copy and paste between, or do you have to like reformat everything? You know. Um, I think it kept its formatting yeah. remember correctly. Okay. So actually, I did it two ways. I put it right into Grammarly, and I put it into uh, Microsoft Word, and let Grammarly do its thing. What's a potential to add? It's okay that we just said that before. I can't, yeah yeah um, as you know I'm on a mission to uncovering how ancient Celtic Druid and pagan tradition can possibly upgrade one's mind and life. As such, there are two important reasons to explore. There are two important reasons. One, the omen is a potential tool to add to one's toolkit for naturally relieving symptoms of anxiety and depression. Second, just as what I'm trying to say is. Just as the practice of meditation to upgrade one's life, many people use the program. 
as their own. I think we're kind of like, we might just want to keep it simple. Here's why this is important. As you know, I'm on a mission to as such. You know what? Let's just keep it simple. As such, the OM is a potential tool. Yeah, that's it. That's all we need. Okay, so we'll clean this up in a second. The ordering. Um, okay. so explicit you know to watch it please click the link yep. below right <laughs> this is important um and then here's the link right this is but yeah. it's unlisted i think yeah. it'll i'll make a public one swear yeah so we'll go. It... do you know if you make it public uh well the url will still be the same right i believe so i'll make sure okay, it is cool. before you know yeah oh wow that's funny they actually show it right here okay we don't want that we want them to actually click into the video Damn it! Convert. Um, just, just have this put. Um, oh, click, yeah. click here, and then yeah, and add the link to it or something like that. Yeah. So I wonder if so they did that. Okay. It's funny that they do that on Mac. Just like type yeah. click here, and then you could add the link to the click here. Yeah, I like to. Or do, please click this link. It. I was going to put the uh, name of the YouTube video and have it linked, but I don't know what the name is yet. See, you see, I get even just so explicit about even the small detail yep. stuff because mm -hmm. it all matters, you know? Um, I like to usually do the URLs linked, you know, um, just because the uh, it people actually will know, hey, it's a link, and I know what I'm going to get, and all that well, stuff. If, if you put it at fine. the end of a sentence, if you put the link at the end of a sentence, I don't think the video will come up. It's only because you put it off on its own. Oh, okay. Like if I did that? It, oh, it, nope, it still nope. did it. Oh. Yeah, whatever. I'm thinking of Substack. There, there's probably a, oh yeah yeah. This this still looks great. This looks just fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll take that out. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. that the proper is to do that along you know things so we'll just keep that convention okay
Damn, this is looking great. What do you yeah, think? It's, it's good. Yeah. I mean, my content was okay. It was just all the nitty gritty of uh, yeah. attracting people into it. Yeah. You were, you were 80% there. Yeah. Um, all right. So let's do. But everything it did make sense. Yep. Okay. Let's put it into Grammarly. You see how much we simplified it? There's no like a ton of stuff, you know? It's just yeah. like a. I like to do everything straight, straight. Uh, okay. I ignore all of Grammarly's like comma stuff, you know, because it, yeah. they, it screws up the flow. Like I've put Hemingway's copy and pasted his book from like Kindle and like all of these great writers into Grammarly and they just fucking butcher it, you know? So <laughs> you can ignore it, you know, ignore the small stuff. Just the typos are, right. yeah, well, my day is over. Okay. Sometimes so they have good um, suggested changes, like for the um, yeah. words. See, they found one. My loving wife told me to go ahead and get the injection on 14th, you know? Yep. So we'll change it to on the 14th. Don't, don't worry. I think that's fine. Yeah, she, yeah. They, uh... yeah. And I guess they didn't keep the formatting. I think it's maybe in Word it kept the formatting. Find out. I think they did. Uh, just yeah, you're you're talking about the uh, the the paragraph breaks. Yeah, I think when I copied and pasted it from uh, ConvertKit to Word, then Grammarly could check it, but it would kept its formatting. Yeah. Let's see here. Let's, let me try. Like any any other, I guess, thing that can take uh, the ground really work with. I think it's I think it's working. I think it's gonna work fine. We'll okay. Copy and paste it over. I've been suffering from spare back pain since. I spell that right? Well, yeah. Div yeah. Div. yeah. Big in tradition. Let's get that. Screw that up. Spell Pete wrong. Okay. I'm going to copy and paste this first before the image. Do that after. Okay. Bastards. They they removed all the uh the formatting. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me put it on. I'm gonna put this one on the screen above, and I'm just gonna go through it real quick. And uh wait. Okay. Yes. Okay. Screw your back pain. So I try medication to relieve my pain. Okay. Valentine's Day. 
Valentine's Day. Suppose. You know, they say like you're supposed to always put the uh, period, you know. Yeah, before you go any further, just one quick change. Yeah. Um, divination method is defined to foretell mm -hmm. the future while learn some unknown piece of information. You have to add, I think we should add learn. Uh, right here? Next line. Yeah, that, that one. Foretell the okay. future or learn. It's the practice so of, uh, oh, to, okay, yeah. Tell me, tell me how it should, how it should be. So be practice of using some media to foretell the future or learn some unknown piece of information. There you go. Nice. Okay, cool. Perfect. Okay. Sure, Drip has like, let's just see. See what happens if I do that. No, I don't want to screw around with that formatting. It always, it always screw it up. Okay. Yeah, and the big thing that conference hit kit doesn't have an undo button. I know. Like it's a yeah, there's some things to get right, and some things that are just no brainers stuff. It's just like, God, really? Like, for instance, I like using custom Google fonts like or custom fonts like, uh, you know, Courier Prime. Yet, mm -hmm. you know, you have to like create your own custom HTML template to use it in ConvertKit. And then if you actually want to use that for like autoresponder stuff, it's just like, it doesn't work. So I'm like, you know what? No, I'm not I'm gonna, uh, just, maybe at some future point, I'll, they'll get me to switch, but I doubt it. It's just, there's a lot of things that are uh, cool about it. But then there's like some things they just don't allow you to customize. You took the link just... out too. Yeah. Get back that link. That back. Okay. So now we now now we know the quirks of uh, <laughs> using Grammarly with uh, ConvertKit. Okay, they say that they're going to get it to work eventually, but I don't think it's high on the priority list. Yeah, but I guess the recovery account is making this way for more. Um, it should be Celtic Druid and Pagan practices, not Druidry. His goal, next section. Uh, right here? Yeah. Okay, cool. So this one was good and fine, according to Grammarly. All right. All right. So I think this thing is ready to fire off. Um, <laughs> this is just gold. Okay. <laughs> so I won't, I won't, uh, Oh, yeah, don't send it yet. You know, yeah. So we'll go back to cheating on live. I want to okay. make the video public before I tell people to go see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go watch it. Now let's do that. Um, is there a way for you to give me edit access to your YouTube channel? Like, can um, you invite me? I don't know if that works. If not, I can share my screen with you and give you control. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's, uh, Let's do that. I'm gonna stop the share. Right, the share, not the recording. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay cool. am, am I enabled to share? Uh, let's see here. I think it always asks me. Okay. Yeah, start. You can try sharing now. Okay. Where am I? Uh, share screen. And then, and then uh, remote control, I want to give you control. 
Give mouse keyboard control to Scott. Okay, I can. Let's see this. I haven't used this in a while. Okay, cool. Oh yeah. All right. Let's let's write and work on some of this copy here. So what we're gonna do, we so all right, first off, we want to update the title. Right. Um, yeah. Okay. So we want to make it yeah, we want it to be uh focused on the benefits. Okay. So um so I haven't watched the video end to end, but can we do something like you know the Agam? Uh, it's just a test. I didn't talk too much about the anxiety and depression in the video. It was more, in the video. yeah, yeah, more about the uh, OM is and you know uh, showing the set and what it looks like and whatever. I didn't. I don't think I only mentioned you know mental health stuff once. Yeah. Okay. Then what we could do is this is more of a show and tell. <laughs> yeah. Here's I'm gonna on my screen. Let me see if I can. Let's see if I can. to I want to look something up I'm going to go to YouTube on on my screen and here's a tip to do is you just type in OM and then what happens is they'll just give you a ton of like autocomplete stuff and mm -hmm. the very top ones you know in the autocomplete are the ones that are most popular you know another way to do keyword research is you know there's a bunch of tools out there but what I'm getting when I search uh, OM is like OM alphabet, OM divination, OM runes, OM writing. Um, let me see. So your video is a, a basically a what it is, right? Yeah. Okay. The OM, so OM divination. And I'm looking at the other videos in here. Oh, um, the divination story. So, do you give a an o uh, a tour of it essentially? Yeah. Okay. I open up the box. I take all the all the staves out, and I show them. And okay. So what? It is so Yeah, uh, copy and paste isn't working as well. So this is this is kind of like a uh, uh, a keyword friendly YouTube video title, like EM or OM. What it is or what is it? Detailed walkthrough. You know, the thing that we want to get to. So you don't talk about like uh, a uh, can it can it um, what is it called cure upgrade the mind basically? Um, I don't think so. Not really. It was more um, um, more about you know what it is, where it came from, what it could do, um, how it's how it's using divination and like define divination and uh, yeah give go through all that stuff um this point okay. 
You got my hand thing. Okay. I was going to pull up my script. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, script of, uh, oh, oh, I see. I see. For the, for the YouTube video so I can yeah. refresh yeah. my memory and everything I covered. I think this is fine. Okay. Let me, we'll just figure this. I'm thinking of a, uh, I, I like guided better, guided walkthrough. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we got the title nailed down. Now, here's what we want to do. The description is what we're going to do. Is we're going to delete all of this stuff. Did you reference this and say, hey, here's a link, you know, in yeah. the description? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I did. Okay. So. To do is remove all this stuff. Okay. Oh, yeah, I even put there an intro discussion to the OM from a beginner student and a walkthrough of my OM set. show you we're gonna switch this link around in a second you're on my computer you know right what's that you're on my computer yeah well okay. i'm using your your mouse right right now. right I, I just wanted to make sure you, i didn't know if you were looking for something on your computer no 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 not yet we'll switch back to that in a second mm -hmm. for some reason it's not okay there we go yeah okay Enjoy this video and you'll love my free guide. People love free. Like I don't even advertise my free 63 page guide, you know, anywhere on the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, and people <laughs> still find it. And it's just, it gets just as many visitors as like visitors to my, uh, you know, um, uh, my uh, special at cost offer book, you know? So it's like people just freaking search, you know, free, free, free. All right. Enjoy this video. Then you'll love my free guide. Get my free guide for ten dollars. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> Sharing how to naturally upgrade your mind in life through. Yeah. Exactly. The free. It's it's free. You know. I mean, you just have to pay shipping. You know. It's like that's another thing, which it is. It's like you know, if it's honest, you know, you can de definitely uh, use that language. You know, it's like for me, it's like I give away. You know, my newsletter for free you know like i don't take the actual fee subscription and then people pay for shipping which is i actually have to update because it's actually costing me eleven dollars and sixty cents and i'm only charging seven dollars and sixty cents because i didn't factor in the material costs so i'm like god damn it uh -huh. it's actually it's it's actually more than free <laughs> <laughs> all right uh enjoy this video then you'll love my free guide sharing how to naturally upgrade your mind and life through through various Celtic Druid and Pagan traditions. Yeah. So what we're trying to do is just shorten it as much as possible here. And I don't know if they cut that to a new line. Yep. 
Cool. Boom. They don't need that. They'll still go to your the listing. Um, cool. So you want to use this on every single video you do, and try mm -hmm. not to like do other links because it's just going to take away. Like your own, the only goal is to check out this description and only see that. Okay. So we can delete. I know, like all the other guys, and, like some of the YouTubers, they have like fifty-seven different freaking links. You know, it's just like just not effective. It's like we want to simplify. Just one step at a time, you know, one one action, each person that you want them to take. Enjoy this video. Then you'll love. Uh, um, I would put my my uh, free forthcoming guide. Yeah, a forthcoming free guide. I'm, I'm still working on a lot of stuff. Yep. I don't want to put out crap. Yep. You with my. Just simplify and say upgrade your mind through various Celtic, Druid, and Pagan traditions. Boom. Um, that's not what I was calling the guide originally. Is that okay? Um. Yeah, we'll 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 get into that in a second. So, let's just save this and then let's switch over. I'm going to show mm -hmm. you. So we'll save this. We're going to kind of explore what the guide is going to be, you know, right now. Um, all right. Let me let's do this. Stop. Can you uh, click the stop sharing. We'll switch over to my my screen. Okay. Sweet. Here we go. Now I'm going to share with you my latest upgrades to your landing page. So back to ConvertKit. Here we are in ConvertKit. Um, I went through and for about like 30 minutes started messing around with uh, with my own version of the page that you started creating, which let's see, it was this one, right? Yeah. Okay, so here's what I've created which it's not the best thing ever, but I think it's a upgrade because it's focused on oh, yeah. what people want, the guide, okay? So here's the placeholder I put in here, free 16 page guide. Like how many pages do you think you can get it at? Like we, more is not necessarily better. Like we just put whatever it ends up, but like probably, let's say it's probably, a 16 page uh, guide. Yeah, probably 20, 25, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So- Here's, I changed it to how to upgrade your mind by living a Celtic lifestyle. Um, this is simplifying it, you know. Okay. Um, I have to change it in the, in the email then too. Yeah. What do you think about that versus Celtic, Druidry, and Pagan? I think Celtic, if you can just focus on that, I think it'll, uh, I think it'll be a lot easier and attract, you know, I don't know. A lot I of, think uh... I think we can get away with. It. I mean, some of the things I'm working on are are, are um, druid things, but the Celt the, the druids were Celts, so yeah. Okay, so free sixteen page guide reveals how you can naturally upgrade your mind and life by implementing a few simple practices dating back over what two thousand uh -oh. two thousand years. Probably I'll double check the math on that, but yeah, because we're talking this Celtic, Celtics. Yeah. yeah, it has to be because it was like negative, negative. Uh, it was like four or five hundred BC. 
lent to about this about the same AD, maybe a little bit later, about a thousand AD. Yeah. Okay. So um here's another thing I was thinking, like how to structure the guide is saying get 17 no bullshit Celtic lifestyle experiments. You know, so how to kind of position it, I think, you know, for you is and how you, you know, like to position it too is calling it like lifestyle experiments that could upgrade your mind and life forever. Like these are 17, giving people 17 practices to try and test out, you know, with you saying, hey, right. I'm still investigating these myself, right? right? There's no claim of, oh my God, you know, this is going to like freaking cure your depression in 30 days or less or double your money back guarantee, blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, it's not that at all. These, these are like, you know, which is awesome, which is better because it's like, that's what a lot of people do in this space. It seems like, right. Um, so, uh, so yeah, something like that. Um, you know, your task is going to be to find a, uh, uh, you know, or use Canva yourself, you know, like one of those Canva or something to get a, a graphic, get the graphics and the design done, you know, for a, uh, for the, you know, ebook, the guide to make it look something like this, you know, have the Cel Celtic or Irish, you know, landscape and with the title of the guide right there. All right. Then down here we've got about Mike Guarneri. Mike is a recovering accountant on a quest to uncover how ancient Druid uh, Celtic and pagan practices and put Celtic first since that's what we're leading with. I think that's just way simpler, you know? Okay. And pagan practices can naturally upgrade one's mind naturally in life. Finally, a no BS approach to integrating a Celtic lifestyle, right? That's like the quote. This is where people sign up. Want your your e-guide. What do you... uh? Yeah, what do you think? Delivered upon completion. <laughs> What's that? That we delivered upon completion. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You're, I um, thought you were talking about the quote. Uh, oh no, I, no. At the top, at the bottom, just because you know, some people are like, "Oh wait, who's that from?" I did something funny that you can always do is, I put an asterisk. The quote above is from Mike's friend. <laughs> 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 so. You know, that way it's like, I love just being like insanely upfront, honest, like inauthentic because so many people just try to bullshit in their marketing and you can like read through it, you know? Right. Um, all right. Your e-guide will be delivered to your email immediately. Your 16 page. So here's another thing. And I've just started doing this on my own website, you know, scottshepherd.com. And I'm probably going to be rolling this out to other places um, across, you know, what I do is I make people apply, apply to join my private email list, you know, and I have it such that, you know, I have like, uh, you can essentially just uh, have people apply, um, you know, so after they sign up here, Another step you can do, and I won't bother going through this now, is, you know, then sending them to a, uh, 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 you know, another landing page that has basically your name, email address, occupation, and why, you know, they should be allowed to, to essentially join your private email list. Right. And I think that's important because 99% of the people and like people on Substack and it's everyone's like, you know, join 5,000 other people and join my email list. Join my... It's like, no, it's like, if you're actually going to be doing this and writing email, like they should actually be tuned in and have, uh, have like buy-in to, and actually earn the right to get emails from you. And so that's something to add to your list, you know, eventually is I'll show you mine. Um, it's very simple, you know, my basic old school website that I have email address, occupation, why you should be accepted into Scott's private email list. And then in the autoresponder, I, you know, I also have a, if you don't open five emails straight for me, um, you know, I go through my list and I prune and I'm, you're probably going to be removed. Like I'm going to remove you. So it basically will spike up your open rates. And also it's, it's, I think a way better, uh, it's like reverse, you know, like reverse psychology. It's like reverse marketing. I might coin that or you know, 
write a book on it someday. Re <laughs> reverse marketing technique is your goal should be to repel people that you don't want and are that are unworthy of being tuned into what you have to share, you know? So anyway, that's why I put that there. You'll also be eligible to join Mike's private email list. I think for now, just for the sake of simplicity, you know, I'm going to remove that. Yeah. Um, you know, but that's something that I think you should do eventually. Once, once you start monetizing, making money, all of that stuff. So, well, wasn't the whole thing if they subscribe, they're on my email list. If they do this. Yeah, that's essentially it for this one. But yeah. you can add another step to change that. Right. You could say, you know, either you can even also even do, which I'm going to probably test at some point, you must apply to even get my free guide. Like, why are you like, I'm not going to give it to you, anyone and anyone like, er, you know, like for me, like the anti net settle cost. And if you're just like a, a digital fanboy, um, you know, cruising through and, you know, you have no intention or if, if, if you're like, you know, I want only people that are, you know, academics, you know, so kind of make it imply to get that material, you know? Um, so anyway, um, I think we just leave, leave that. Um, mm -hmm. boom. The change That's immediately it. though. What's that? I'll be delivering it to the email immediately. Yeah. Your 16 page guide will be delivered to your email immediately. Say what? Did I change something? No, we should change it. I don't, I, I can't deliver oh, it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's right. Um, finally an OBS approach. Oh, yeah. And I could just change the pages as I go if it ends up being, you know, yep, more or less or whatever. I get up to yep. page twenty, I'll just change the twenty and exactly whatever it's final. Yep. When do you expect it to be done? I don't know. I, I really don't. I'm testing a few things. I'm still researching things. How about my, my problem March? is just that knowledge development is just so problematic when I'm spinning my wheels with other stuff. Yeah. That's what's killing me. What um, about if you set a date? Can you March set a 17th? Date? Yeah. The that's Patrick's perfect. Day? Yeah. So what this will allow you to do, and this is when you do the bib cards and all that, instead of going to main cards, go straight to, uh, go straight to actually writing, you know, the guide, right? Yeah. Bib, bib card to writing the guide, not bib card to main card to writing the guide. Like that's going to be the game changer and make your bib cards, make the bib notes super brief, like, like as, as quick and fast as possible, you know? Um, I personally like to write out, go straight from like bib card to just writing out in the manuscript, handwriting it out, you know, and, but, uh, so that's one possibility or potential is, uh, you know, is writing it out in like a, a notebook or something, um, first, but in this case, I think you can go straight from bib card to, you know, putting it in the draft, putting it in any, either, you know, whatever writing editor you use. Um, right. And uh, yeah. So we could just say, I've, I've not completed the guide yet. The, uh, the current release date, the expected March 17th. The 
you know, man. Okay, no, I have not completed the guide yet. Expect it. Release date is March 17th, 2023. Oh, okay. This, the moment it's completed, you'll be getting I was just going to make a um a broadcast and just send it to the people. Yeah, the uh on March 17th. 17th like, yeah, yep. just send them with like an attachment, not a download. I yep. assume I assumed I could do that. Yeah. I don't know if you can I don't think you can within ConvertKit add an attachment. Um it's it's usually just a link to a PDF. But yeah, whatever. Moments completed, you'll be getting an email. Um, can um, can you go to the you right? Want to test it. No, I just want to change the font color first. Where where at? Not the font color, the background color. This green. Yeah, I want to yeah, make a match the other greens. Yeah, how do we do that? Um, there we go. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. uh, three three a. Six six eight, I believe. That's incredible that you've uh, memorized that. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did not, not it let didn't change though. What the fuck? Uh, maybe maybe we found a convert kit bug. Wait, oh oh, that was box background. Yeah, I you guess. don't want to do that because then it's going to. Uh... What is what is box background? Anyway, it was white. Uh, I think it was F's, all F's. No, I think box no. background is something different. I think this is the real background. Right. There we go. Cool. All right. Finally, Anobius. This is, looks great. What about the uh, button color? I don't think that matters. Blue's fine. Yeah. Let's do maybe an orange. There we go. All right. Hey, we have an Irish flag, green, white, and uh, orange. <laughs> yep, exactly. That's what I was going for. Expect to release date is March 17th, 2023. The very second it's, it's completed, you'll be getting an email with a link to download. All right. This is the convert awesome. turned on? So it's like uh, up at the bottom. What do you mean? Uh, Built with ConvertKit. Oh, yeah. Nice. Cool. Now it's off. Mm -hmm. Sweet. So I got to okay. find a picture for this. Yeah. You got to, uh, you mean the, 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 uh, yeah, this, this thing right here. Yeah. Let's see. I wonder if we can make a real quick one in Canva. What are we going to call it? How to upgrade your mind by living a cultic lifestyle. Let's just call it that. Mm hmm. So, ebook, ebook cover. Sure, Canva, drop as many cookies as you want on my list. Let's do this. Um, This one's good. Yeah, it's interesting. Okay, let's, let's just put a placeholder for now. A Love Story by Mike Granary. <laughs> <laughs> How I'm cheating on my wife. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so 17. 
Yeah, we can, we'll just, let's keep it simple for now. Yeah, so I'm not yeah, in love with this. one more thing to change. Yeah, yeah, I'm not in love with this, you know, this type, but we can, this will allow us to actually blast out the email, publish the YouTube video and send people here, you know? Right. So, um, let's see. And then you can just create, you know, your own one uh, at some point. Let's do this. Boom. Um, okay. Place this image. Boom. Actually, it looks pretty badass. Yeah. I mean, it still kind of looks like girly and shit, like most of the people in the market, you know, like the <laughs> the druids and stuff. You know, it kind of has that mystical fairy like feel a little bit, but like with this graphic behind it. Looks pretty badass. This is this is perfect. It's good enough. All right. So I think we're good. I think we're good. Save. Mm -hmm. and then let's publish. So did you um I have to yeah, I have to change the uh URL. Yeah, I have to let's have to change the um yeah, and I have to change the on um change the uh link on YouTube. The, no, the um on GoDaddy, the, the cut I have the uh, oh yeah at the point to this page instead of the old one. Oh oh oh, I see, I see. You did a uh, domain forwarding, basically. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't think of the word. Have you looked into um, with uh, with ConvertKit? Do they have a uh, you know a way to see name and use nope, your own domain? They don't use it. I, I looked into it. So couldn't you? You got a custom domain here? It it won't work because then it's gonna tell you to add the um the A references to GoDaddy or wherever. Can't you do like um let me do uh let's do this. Um we'll do go. Do you have go dot com taken already? No, I didn't do anything with it, no. Yeah, so if we use go.micronary.com. I don't think it's even going to work because it's not going to find it. Just watch me. Watch this. Okay. Um, we'll direct it to that. Oh, yeah, they do require a, a mm -hmm. records, huh? Yep. So. Do they allow you to do custom subdomains for Go? Like there's no A records. Uh, how about you just show me your screen? Then uh, let's uh, let's look into that. Do you, have you already been through this this rabbit hole? I I thought I yeah. I mean, I put the, um, the A references in multiple times under Mike. Um, I, I delete since deleted if I put it under uh, Mike uh, join dot com. Okay. And it's it wouldn't if not working. It wouldn't it wouldn't validate. Weird. Okay. All um, right. So then I ended up just doing the forward. Yeah. All right. Then let's just do I'm just gonna remove it. Let's do a new forwarding one. Um because you know, we don't need to really screw around on that for right now. Any page and forums. Let's see. So do you want me to send you this uh where is it? Right here. I want to send you this URL. You could set it up. Um. Yeah. Sure. That's fine. Yeah. Where is the? Because what I want to do. Well, I mean, I see it when it it's it's in there. I can just pull it up. Say what? It the URL is in there. I can just go into ConvertKit and pull it off. Yeah. Well, what I, I'm I don't trying really to need you to send it to me. What I'm trying to do is I want to get this uh, 
you can send out this email, you know, and publish the YouTube video like right now, you know, Yep. because I don't think it'll take that long to propagate, right. And send people to the right URL. So yeah, I just need to figure out how to get my screen back so I can go into GoDaddy. Uh, You want me to stop sharing? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Boom. All right. There we go. Okay. Go daddy. My keyboard closer. <laughs> okay. Did you save that, uh, the YouTube video yet? Like save that, make sure you save the, uh, you know, the YouTube video edits we, we did, but I'll do it again too. Okay. Uh, my products. I just clicked the, uh, on, on my screen, the, uh, you know, the video link that I got from you. So and it's still the old, that's why I'm asking. Wait, what, what did you do? I clicked the, uh, you know, the, Maybe it is. I think it is. I wonder if we add. Do we add? Yeah, I'm, the wrong I think one? if 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 we didn't if we didn't do the one I sent you last night, yeah. Okay. Um. No, because we did it on my screen. Um. Let me check. Let me check the. Uh, oh yeah. Anyways, yeah. First, first, finish. Uh, finish doing the domain forwarding. Yeah. And then we'll we'll, we'll debug that in a second. Uh. Domain. This could be such a great email that goes out. What the hell's going on? None of my dom- my domain is nothing here. Can you share share your screen? Yeah, I can do that. Uh Okay, my Gwenary. Oh, there we go. Uh, that was down here. Try going to uh, manage DNS, click manage yeah. DNS. Yeah, that's where it was. We got down here. Oh okay, yeah, scroll up. Let's dust down here. So join free guide. Oh, cool. I want to edit this and I want to change it to Uh, that's so the one. The, okay, cool. Well, we'll know in a minute. Come on. Here we go. Copy. Uh, type it. Type it in first. You know, into your browser. Let's see if it is actually showing up. Weird. Okay. No, that's weird. I don't think that is it. Because no, you know why? Yeah. yeah, it's because it's giving you only that domain. So um grab the uh click cancel, click uh click publish, scroll up, click publish. Hang on, I can't see it because there we go. Yeah, then grab that URL right there. Yeah. That's weird. Why the I don't know why it looks strange. I know. On mine, it's, it's look at it looks just fine. You know what? Do it a might be um, I'm, I'm, I might because I'm logged in. They go to uh, do a uh, hit hit command 
or uh, control shift N. That's fine. Okay. Cool. I, I think that's because I was logged in on Chrome. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, so let me go back to GoDaddy. Yeah. Cool. And then set it as HTTPS. Cool. Yeah, click save. Okay. All right. Cool. Now go back to YouTube, you know, that page we were editing. Uh, I got to figure out how to do that because I can't, <laughs> you have a I can't tabs. see the tabs. Uh, I can't do, see do, the tabs. Do, do uh, I think it's like control alt left and right. Do control alt left. No. Control alt that, left I mean, arrow key or control alt. What no, is that? Uh, Windows shortcut. Windows. I'm just trying to. Just, the toolbar is in the way. I just need to. I can't see it. Yeah. You know what? Let me let me. I don't want to click sharing. click on click on just click on one of those. Uh, oh oh the you're saying the uh, the zoom toolbar. Yeah, the zoom thing is way. blocking my, my yeah my tabs. Then resize the. Oh, is it? Are you sharing just the browser? Try resizing no. the. Try resizing the uh, your browser screen. You know. Yeah. Do that. Click that. I can move it. Yeah. The move way. it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then click is this one. Nope. It yeah. was this one. No. I think I might have closed it. Try clicking that one YouTube on the far further left. This. Yeah, it's that one. That's no. YouTube music. Okay. Okay. I'm making this pull it up again. All right. I think uh, we clicked save, right? Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, because it's closed now. Yeah. Okay. I hope, I hope so. Cool. Um that one this open oh, i can just click on the there we go and manage videos um yeah, yeah we, we looked like we uh did the wrong one right okay yeah i think yeah well, yeah, yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right because I I clicked the just right now the most recent one that you sent me. You know, with the fixed audio, and yeah. it's still on the old. So, um, yeah. Let me see. The one way to tell is to play it and see. Of course, it's not playing through my headphones. Is it playing through your headphones? I I don't. Oh, you can't hear it. I don't um, think it is the right one. So, um. Let's just, uh, Let's yeah, I'm, I'm like 99% sure. Um, all right. So do this, go, go back, go back to the Ow. previous screen. All right. And then let me, let me just drive here for a second. Can you do the, uh, sh yeah. full size share screen? Okay, so I think I have access. Okay, yeah, cool. All right, so what we are going to do, here's a trick that they, I thought they have this. They do a previous detail. No, this, is, this is the right one. Yeah. Because I, I made a final two. Yeah. The video was final two. Okay. I wonder if I, if I copy this, I wonder if it copies to my own local. Watch this. Yeah. Yeah, this is the original, original with the hat sound problem. Yeah, so we'll just call this. So we don't go insane. Call this old. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely more efficient ways. To do this, but uh, <laughs> I don't have access to copy and paste on your. Uh... Okay, this will be fine. I I did uh, Command A, but maybe that's not 
the right key. There we go. Ah, uh, damn it. Give me copy for me. Want me to do it? it yeah, yeah, you, you, you just do that. This is the old one, which we changed, so I'm going to go in here. Publish. Oops, now it's this part. Yeah. Not seriously. You can grab it all with Command or uh, Control A, too. Okay, and then you missed that. I just add the I to the very front of the first sentence. Oh yeah. Okay, let me just cool. grab the and, save, uh, this save and, it. Yeah, yeah, and grab the uh, title from the other one. How come it didn't change? Oh, yeah. I, right. I changed right. it. I didn't change the title. I'm losing my mind. Yeah. I know this is it like changed the, everything uh, else. You know, this is like the, you know, the real. We're, we've been doing the real minutia, the stuff that matters. You know, the details. You know, which is like everyone's like, oh, just do this. It's so simple. It's like, yeah. Well, what people don't see is the four hundred and seventy six things of the details. You know, all this okay. stuff. Oh, um, what is it? A guided walkthrough. Boom. Okay, cool. Um, let's go ahead and publish this. Public. I can't see it either. I don't know what that says. Done. Um, what does it say? Yeah, yeah. Click done down there. Okay, that's what it is. It was blocked out by the uh, Zoom sidebar. Oh, God dang it! Zoom freaking. Okay, click save. Okay, public. Okay. All right. I'm now officially subscribing. You already are subscribed. Oh, you doing to the uh, YouTube channel? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Now, all right. Let's stop the share share screen. I think we're ready to rock and roll and publish this email out. Um, all right, let me share my screen. Da, da, da. Browser, share, One second. Let me make sure I'm sharing the right. It's like hard with Chrome. I'm like, I have so many freaking browsers open. Yeah, me too. Uh, <laughs> I kind of switched to Brave, but now I have just as many tabs open in Brave. <laughs> I <do> yeah. Chrome. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be this one. Is it this one or that one? Google Chrome, how to upgrade your mind. We just, we'll just first share with this one. Now, stop sharing, then I'll share. Cool. All right. I'll share the screen. I think there's one more change we have to make to the newsletter, the title up on top. Second. Can you see? Um... Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So what were you saying? The new uh, one uh, more change. But, uh, do we still have it, or we get rid of the join button on top? Oh, I yeah. Uh oh. You mean you mean your uh, the graphic? Well, I don't think about the graphic as much. We had a join button. Do we even care? 
No. Okay. No. Um, I just want this to be straight up letter with the call to action being this right here. Right. So um if you go to preview, hit, hit um hit email on the right side. Back here. What, right here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And hit preview oh, yeah. at the bottom. Okay. That way if you, we can go down and we can click the link for the YouTube video and just make sure it works. Yep. Definitely. Okay. Everything's looking awesome. Okay. Boom. There we go. And look at how that, you see that? How it's mm -hmm. like the guide is in there. The link. This is freaking awesome. I clicked this already, but then they get here, get free right. guide, then they get taken down. Boom. Just need to change one other thing. Mm -hmm. I have people after they um submit their email. Um I th oh it's, it's probably okay still. I don't remember. I had them after after they um verified their email. I I took them to uh did we go to landing pages and forums. I had my original landing page take them to the uh Mike bio page. Okay. This one? No, the one no. After they did this, they got a message to, to you know to confirm their email. But mm -hmm. on the um and this would send them to um the um Mike bio. Mike bio page? Yeah, go to incentive maybe. After confirming redirect to and that URL. Oh, this URL? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what this is. Nice. I gotta change this too with that, but yeah. Okay. So I just want to make sure I put that into the new guide. Yeah, let's do that. The new landing page, I mean. So incentive. Redirect. I think I did to... auto confirm new subscribers. Oh, okay. Then it doesn't so, matter. Because yeah. it, that's after confirming. You might get some spam, like send incentive. Edit email contents. What is this one? This yeah. is if if we're doing it. Did you, um, so I've always been like, I just keep it. I don't do like the auto confirm new subscribers. It's not necessarily, it's kind of more annoying than, than it is okay. helpful. You know? Okay. That's what, turn that's, it off. That's fine. It's yeah, auto that's, confirming them. Yeah. That's what I've, I found it to be. And then like, I've, I've caught like people, you know, spammers or people, you know, that are just like signing up, you know, it's like, you can, you can monitor that and you can catch that pretty easily. Um, this allow you to provide incentive. Yeah, we don't need this. I don't think. Well, the incentive email, maybe we should send out still to give them the link to that page. We're just on. I um, had all the links. Yeah. Let me, let's just see what happens after you sign up real quick. So just see what the experience is like. So let's see what happens. Okay. So but now it's still telling me we turned that off, I thought. Um yeah, let me see. I don't think you saved it. Did I not? you know i yeah i think that's just like a that's that's so annoying it's I, yeah it 
It didn't send me a uh, auto, you know, an email from you. It did? It did not. No. Did not. Okay. Yeah. So that's just like their standard, you know, thing. But it's kind of annoying because people that sign up are going to be. You sure the email didn't go to your um, marketing thing? Yeah, no. I'm, uh, positive. Looking at all mail. Yeah. Okay. So let me see what the other option is. I was thinking here, instead of saying confirm your subscription, to say, uh, no, thanks for signing up. Um, here's a link to that bio page or whatever. I don't figure out the words, but. Yeah. I guess you can't do it like that because a confirmation button is required on this email. That's ridiculous. Yeah, so it's a cancel. I'm not going to yeah. use this. Yeah, but, don't even don't even use this. Don't even bother. But, uh, it's fine. Because uh, you can also set up, you know. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think I think this is fine for now. Was it auto confirm you... off? What's that? I thought it was auto confirm off. I uh, I think this is a uh, incentive. Okay. We we don't want that. Oh yeah 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 that's right. This is what we this want. This is what. Yeah. What's that? What's that? Um, I think it's this one. It's bio, yeah, that one. So, this is perfect. Yeah, after they sign up, they'll get this page. Yeah, perfect. All right, let's save and publish and test. Do test number two. Uh, uh, at least thirty-three percent of my life has been spent testing. <laughs> <laughs> test two. Test two. Uh, Perfect. Fuck yeah. So let's just save this. Let's edit this page real quick. Um, is this yeah this page? Mm -hmm. Okay. I have to change that in there. Look about the guide is the wrong name, but. Yeah, this is all fine. All right. So then let me check my email. I should not have gotten anything. And I don't think I did. Perfect. All right. Right on. Okay. So I think we are ready to send. We ready to send this email off? Yeah, I guess so. Let's do this. Um Okay. All right. So this is what you usually do? Yeah, it's just all subscribers. Leave now. Subject line. Sometimes you, this is good to use, you know, the preview text, but um, you're like, I'm cheating on my wife. Cheating on my wife. 
not kidding you know this will be like that you know little yep. preview text people see okay <laughs> everything looking good yeah i think so let's do this okay <laughs> Congrats, cheating yeah. on my wife. <laughs> awesome. I, <laughs> I just got it. I just got the email from Mike Ranieri cheating on my wife, and I'm not kidding. <laughs> uh, let's see what this this does for that open rate. Your open rates are pretty freaking good, honestly. Really? Yeah, yeah. But they don't yeah. do anything with them. They don't go to the YouTube videos or... Well, they're about to. Your click-through rate has been... So that's actually a pretty decent click rate, but now it's going to be hopefully. You have to be clicking on other things, not necessarily the YouTube video. Yeah. What I think it'll be, you know, because there's also, you have to understand like a good, a good portion of your audience, like you're still, yeah, you, you, you popped up in my promotions folder, you know? So there's a, um, a portion of your audience that's, that's not getting your emails because it's not, in, well, they're get, you're getting lumped in with all the other crap out there, you know, like there's like a piles and B piles for, um, whenever you get physical mail, you know, you stand over a, a trash basket, your waste bin with, uh, okay. Is this an actual real letter or is this spam, you know? And like, now you're, you're being kind of like grouped in with all the promotions tab, at least for me, I don't know why that is, um, the, the hope. So that's why it, that's probably why your open rate isn't like 80%, you know? So that can be improved by way of uh, doing that step that I talked about early on. Um, yeah. So is it worth like in a few days doing another email just saying, Hey, I've been getting reports of people not receiving emails or having emails go to spam mm -hmm. or marketing folders, you know, make sure you add me to your address book or something. I, th I think the, um, I think the best thing to do there is just just start with new subscribers because okay if you send that email out you know you're still going to be buried in the the promotions tab you know but yeah i mean that could that couldn't hurt that couldn't hurt um i'll see what this week's first how it turns yeah. out so i i predict the open rate on this is going to be already uh, eight and a half percent yeah i think this one is going to be i can't like, be this one's going to be like 64% to 70%, you know? So like, you know, that must be uh, a good title. Eight and a half percent already opened it. <laughs> yeah. Like not even five minutes. I know. But like, what is that? Like how many people is that? You can click on and get details. Oh, well, look at three of those <laughs> are for me. Yeah, yeah, but look, yeah. it's my it's it's my uh, in laws, my wife's parents. <laughs> oh God, they're probably yeah. having a heart attack right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, see, um, no clicks yet. Okay, oh, that is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, hey. Sometimes it takes them a week or two weeks to open my email. Oh, we got another <laughs> I one. Open that within minutes. <laughs> see who else? We got another one. Patricia Peterson. Yeah, she's a long time subscriber. Nice. God, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> um yeah, your people are gonna love this. It's uh you know. That's the, what I want um, to say. Yeah. So I think the let me I'll stop sharing the screen. So yeah, I think so those lessons, you know, this this template. So definitely carry forth with you yeah, for absolutely. the next one. Um, like the the where to go from here, you're going to get a lot more people so opting in to that free guide. You know, A, you need to work on that free guide. So it's done mm -hmm. March, March 17th. I have to do some speed testing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but, I know I'm not going to, I'm telling them I'm not finished, you know, testing yeah. everything, but I at least want to make sure it's not complete BS before I put it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. But then I think the getting new traffic, I think the, uh, a, a really good now that you're doing these YouTube videos, you know, that's like where going into those Reddit forums or the, even the Druidry forums, 
people mm-hmm. where they're talking about a certain aspect or even the OM or s- stuff like that. I think that should cater to, I mean, you could even get it in the flow of, you know, right now, like even creating like a YouTube video a day or something like that's insane, you know, but like, yeah, that's insane. Yeah. But like going to those for the forums that we identified, you know, the dream 100 and saying, if someone's like, Hey, talking about this or this question, if you reply with a, Hey, I actually just created a video um, right. about this, um, particularly, you know, about your response to your question, they'll be able to see that video and other people as well. And you'll immediately stand out, you know, above any of like the blogs or a thousand other people that are, that are just writing in text because you're putting your face out there. You're actually, you know, showing your yourself, your YouTube video, explaining stuff. People are going to know, like, and trust you immediately. And then they're going to see that free guide and then boom, you're going to start, you know, with that free guide and you start now, you know, it's like you have enough because you're very transparent about it not being done yet. Mm -hmm. You're going to start building your email list big time. And then, um, you know, next, next steps from there is going to be, you know, a, there's a, uh, you know, a, a book, right. But a book yeah. is not, it's just, just copy my model book is not the necessarily the best way to make money, but it's a way to, it's like a, uh, a way to get people to actually engage with you more. And then I think a physical monthly newsletter is a great option for you that then, you know, above that, it, a higher ticket product, either a course right. or coaching or something along, you know, along those lines. And um, even for you, like, I think that, I think a uh, even more awesome higher ticket product could be like a whole, you know, experience of going to Ireland together with a group of people going, exploring the ancient Celtic practices. Here's what I'm trying. Here's how it's going to upgrade your mind and life. Here's what to try, you know? So um, yeah, I mean, you know, it ain't easy. You you picked a you picked a tough niche. I think it, it'd be a little bit easier for you if you wanted to like teach people, you know, hedge fund accounting, right? But that's like you don't want to you don't want to do that, and so you don't want to ex- you know. Uh, well, the the good news it's tough because it's not a very uh, explored space. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, hopefully that's a good thing in the end once I can get into it. Same same with the anti net settle costing. You know, it's yep. like freaking no one was going the analog route. Now it's like people are, you know, now it's like becoming more and more and more of an, a common accepted thing and it's bring, and then what's awesome is it brings in a lot of the people that you know that that you want to serve anyway so yeah you're yeah, on the I've right even track. expanded the index cards to my interviews you know I have a uh, everybody yeah. I reach out to on, on an index card and nice. all my notes for them nice hell yeah well man dude keep 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 it up. Keep up this. Uh, I think this YouTube, this tweak that we made here is going to be a game changer. Um, if you could do a, like, you know, YouTube videos once a week, you know, and That's what I've been doing and I plan on doing. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, but we need to grow the list and the way to grow the list yeah. is, is twofold. A, you had a great title, you know, if you could do more. Yeah. Cause like, like when I type in OM, you know, like there's a ton of videos out there, you know, yeah. you're going to mm-hmm. get all of a sudden you're going to be starting to get recommended when they're watching all those OM videos, you know, like the thousands of people, boom, you're going to be popping up. They're going to start engaging with you. So once a week, you know, once a week, YouTube for sure. Yeah, I'm, I'll do it one way or another. I did it with the uh, sub stack for like 17 or 18 weeks in a row. So I know, which is freaking able to do it this way too. I think that Substack route is way harder, you know? Yeah. And it, it was good. You needed to do that in the beginning to find your voice. You're still trying to kind of like develop your material and find the voice. Um, you know, I think it's a good practice on to do that. Like I did that myself. Like I did the daily blogs. They were a lot less quality than you, but at a certain point you have to be, you have to, you have to transition into uh, YouTube. So you're, you're essentially repeating what I did. Like I did the, yeah, no, it was a good thing. I mean, you know, you know, before I even started talking to you, I had zero presence on the internet. So yeah. just even writing, putting my my writing out there, publishing it, I know it was a, a big step for big me. Step. Let alone putting my face and you know, uh, yeah. my, my New York accent uh, yeah. talking out there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's freaking awesome, man. I I love it. I I love seeing you you grow. It's like it's the you're doing it the old way, the deliberate way. Like, but you've also seen it with with what I've done, you know, and and you've seen it firsthand and how I've done it, right? Like you're repeating my steps. Like a year ago, 
I think I only started my YouTube channel like maybe a year and two months ago, maybe a year and a month ago. And then I grew the huge tribe on YouTube. I started growing my list thanks to the free guide, giving that away, launched the book and that's, you know, done really well. And then my, uh, you know, my, my, uh, paid physical monthly newsletter. And then there's going to be, you know, another step too. like, I want to go advanced as well, but it's like, just from doing that, right. Like I now have a six figure business, like based on note cards, like freaking a, like, <laughs> like I chose note cards, which is like a lot less, you know, like it's like, I mean, I'm kind of deriding it too. Cause it's like analog knowledge development or analog knowledge management, you know, is like the more cool Whoever you know, is phrase. Uh, right. But, uh, yeah, you so. should get Oxford, Oxford to sponsor you to make the yeah. index cards. <laughs> I know. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, it's, uh, you're on the, you're on the right path. You're doing it, you know, it's, uh, so yeah, keep it well, up. Thanks to everything, Scott. I really appreciate it. Yeah, of course, man. Of course. So anything else we should cover? I don't think so. Cool. Rock and roll. I didn't realize we were going to be going three hours into this thing, but man, it's freaking awesome. I, I had a blast. Yeah. Time flew doing it. Are you uh, posting all three hours up? I think so. Edit it down? I think, no, screw it. Let's, you know, if people want to follow along and consume this and see what I've done and see how the, this is essentially like, you know, how the sausage is made, you know? Yeah. <laughs> this well, is sorry. how to be a creator and intellectual and uh kick ass. So yeah, man. Um, all right. Well, I'll stop recording now and uh, hopefully people enjoyed this. I hope so.